skipping a week of my charcoal drawings to make a Halloween project with Bristol board. So I noticed that my Dollarama dollar store near me uh, had their Halloween stuff. So I bought uh, some things that I'm showing here. Uh, I'm going to use some of this stuff to decorate outside, like that crow. Uh, these are just little tea light holders. Here's a crow as well. Uh, little buckets, candles, stuff like that. So let's talk about the project. It's going to be monster silhouettes for the window. So I'm going to use this chalk to draw on this Bristol board. It's pretty thick, so instead of scissors, I decided to use a cutting board and a utility knife. So you can see here, I already drew the monster onto the Bristol board. Uh, and you can see it's pretty rough. That's because it's a monster, so it doesn't really matter uh, exact uh, proportions. You can have it be a little thinner, a little thicker. It doesn't uh, make a difference. It'll still look good. These boards were $1.50 each for me, so in the United States, probably $1 each. Um, you'll see me flipping the board over to cut on the other side, and this is because the board is actually kind of like two sheets of paper with foam in the middle. So the other side, the piece of paper on the other side isn't always cut when you're cutting uh, like corners for example. So just to make sure the paper doesn't tear, uh, you can flip it over and you'll see like the general lines of where you cut and you'll be able to just like finish that corner off uh, and then you won't get any tears in the paper uh, and it gives you the best result I found. So even when they're just cut, they already look pretty good, uh, but they'll look even better in the window. Uh, another cutting tip, if you're cutting teeth or something sharp, I recommend cutting down like this because if you cut upwards into the tooth, it'll actually um, like make the corner push in and kind of ruin it a bit. Another tip, if you need two matching objects, try and cut one and use the other as a guide. Uh, and then uh, in order to make the biggest uh, monster, I found that I needed to uh, separate uh, different appendages in order to get the largest body and then cut the the appendages out of the, the scraps around it. You'll be left with scraps like that and you can make bats or pumpkins or whatever you think of. You'll end up with something like this for a couple dollars.